background story on this, I was on a slam team with a couple friends of mine, Omazeli Akwawo and Ioka Akwawo, and uh, Oz had this amazing piece about a child in Darfur who they were captured by the Children's Army and she was given the option of surviving if she killed her father. And I had been familiar with the story of Kevin Carter who won a Pulitzer Prize for a photograph of a young girl in the Sudan with a vulture behind her. Uh, and I'd been trying to write a poem about that uh, and I discussed it with Oz and a couple weeks later I started reading a book called House of Leaves by Mark Danielewski and I'm reading it and it's a long book. And I want to say it's about a thousand pages or so in when, spoiler alert, it's revealed that the main character is a fictionalized version of the person that I've been trying to write about for months. This story is also a haunted ghost story type, type tale and it's two o'clock in the morning and I've just realized that he's writing about the same character that I want to write about and my phone rings at 2.30 in the morning and it's Oz and I freak out and I uh, got myself together, calm, coolly, collected, and uh, wrote this. I used to be able to stand steady without a tripod. Everything sharp, focused, crisp. You wouldn't recognize me on the street, but you know my work. Flag draped coffin in a freight plane. Soldiers leaning tank high, laughing smoke. Click, click. I'm, I'm familiar with tragedy. Not the way your secretary's husband is familiar at an office Christmas party or the way a Billy Joel lyric is familiar in a grocery store. I am familiar with tragedy the way birds are familiar with air currents, the way accountants are familiar with numbers. It is my job to record the worst of humanity, what everyone wants to study, but no one wants to live through. I am a trigger. Click, click. I'm wide-angled but focused. There's blood on my negative, sure as there are chemicals on my hands. An American soldier point blanks an Iraqi civilian. I do not tremble. Click. A woman, a child pulls the limp arm of his mother's corpse out of the wreckage of a commuter rail in Spain. I feel nothing. Click. A woman in a burqa is stoned to death for showing an inch of flesh and I... I am a rock. I was in Darfur when I saw the child. Insect-lipped, sand-eyed, belly distended. I was going to help her, but the vulture behind her fit so perfectly into the frame. Click! I am a trigger. Click! I am a vulture. Delisle, I don't know how the camera found its way into my hands. I called her Delisle and knew I shouldn't have named her. Click! Knew she wasn't going to make it to the Red Cross tent. Click! And really, I was going to help her. Click! It was too late to help her. Click! No one could have helped her. Click! I was helping her. Put her face to a quiet genocide. Every newspaper carried the photograph of the end of her life. Frame of reference. Delisle's death was not special. She was wrong place. Wrong time. Click! And I did help her. Delisle, for days after I took those pictures, I couldn't decide whether or not to print them. Click! For weeks after they ran across the front page of every newspaper in America, I couldn't leave the house. Click! For months after they won me the Pulitzer Prize, I couldn't sleep without dreaming. Delisle, I don't know why this moment, more than the smoke in the burqa, more than the tank in Tiananmen Square, I don't know why I can't stop shaking. Delisle, frame of reference. I'm zooming into the top right desk drawer, Delisle. I'm turning the key in the lock. Click! I don't know how the gun found its way into my hands. See, I am the click a bullet into a chamber. I am a vulture. I am a trigger. I am a flag draped vulture, does not tremble. I am a tremble. She is the tripod. The gun is the trigger. Delisle! Click!